Mama, for the nine months you carry me through All those pain and suffering No one knows the pressure you bear Just only you Give you all my love again well, Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carry me through All those pain and suffering No one knows the pressure you bear Just only you Hello guys, how you all doing? So yesterday I showed you how I season my goat meat to make my Jamaican curry bowl with my blended season. So today I'll be cooking. So here's my goat meat all marinated since yesterday. Oh my God, can you imagine? So I just burnt a little curry as you can see for my curry goat and now I'm gonna turn the flame down a little bit yeah and I'm gonna add my goat meat in and I'm just gonna stir I'm gonna add a little water here just to rinse my bowl out old time fashion thing right but yep so I'm just going to rinse my bowl out, I'm going to pour it on, I'm going to stir it, and I'm going to leave this to cook. Everything's already seasoned in my meat because, you know, I added garlic, all my scallion, thyme, onions, peppers, etc. So I'm just going to leave this and allow it to cook. Alright guys, so now that the goat meat has been sauteed for a few minutes, this is how I like to cook it. I want to add some hot water on it guys always put hot water on your goat meat not too much and then I'm just gonna allow this to cook okay guys so I'm making some rice and peas or rice and beans for my Sunday dinner. First, you must always wash your beans. I'm gonna use a strainer so I don't lose any. You can always rinse two times, you know, because sometimes there's a little dirt, you know, that's on the peas or the beans, whatever you call it. And I'm gonna add cold water. Not too much, just a little. And I'm gonna put some garlic in. Always put your peas in cold water to boil. So guys, now that the peas is boiling, I'll be putting some cold water on it. You know, growing up we learned that cold water sink the peas. So I'm just teaching the young heads something. So you see you pour some cold water over it and you cover it. That's my water boiling for my goat meat, right? <laughs> see, I'm cooking up a storm, guys. Okay, guys, so now you can see that all the peas is now sunken and it's cooking. So just allow this to cook for maybe another 15, 20 minutes, depends on how tough your peas or your beans are. And then you can go ahead and add your coconut milk and your seasoning okay yeah man so see my goat meat is still cooking guys goat meat is tough or hard to cook so if you have a pressure cooker and you want to use your pressure cooker for quicker cooking time go ahead no shame in your game because trust me sometimes you're on haste you really don't have time to leave your goat meat to cook for maybe between 45, 50 minutes, an hour, up to an hour. Because sometimes the goat meat is tough, I'm not lie. So you have to pressure it. If you want, you can. But I'm on no haste today, so I'm going to allow my goat meat to cook in a timely manner. Okay? Yeah, this is my goat meat okay so okay guys so my peas is now cooked how you can test your peas is that you can just put one on top of your 
to cover your pot and squeeze it. See, that's how you know your peas is cooked. So now I'll be putting in my coconut milk. You always have a little hot water on the stove. No to add into anything I need. So I'm gonna mix up my coconut milk in some warm water and I pour it into my cooked peas. And then I'll be adding the seasoning soon. Just allow this to cook for a few minutes, but guys, you can season your pot whenever you put your coconut milk in. Just season your pot and let everything cook together. So I'm gonna add my seasoning, okay? So now I'm putting in my seasoning. I'm putting in my scallion thyme. Guys, I season my pot differently. I like to put a piece of onion, and of course I like to put a piece of bell pepper in my rice and peas and of course you know i started cooking with garlic so you can always add another piece of garlic you know for freshness and remember to put your salt in and of course a piece of butter to complete your rice and peas slash rice and beans cooking good old jamaican curry goat and rice and beans for my Sunday dinner. All right guys, so now that my peas is all cooked, coconut milk and seasoning is in, turn it off and allow it to sit for maybe 30 to 45 minutes just to get that pretty red rice and peas slash rice and bean color that I want. You don't have to make it this way, but this is just, I'm showing you how I do mine, okay? So I'm gonna cover it and allow it to sit for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now that I've gotten the desired look that I want, remember after I put in my coconut milk and my seasoning, I let it sit for a few minutes. That's just my way of cooking. You don't have to do this because when you're in a rush, you don't have time for this. But because I like the red pretty color in my rice and peas or rice and beans, always do this. Now I'll be adding my rice in. It's already washed and everything. And I'll be stirring my rice in, my rice and beans, you know, so the beans is not just on top, but it's everywhere in my rice and peas. All right, so I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook. Okay, guys, so now that my goat meat is in the last stage of cooking, I'm going to add some seasoning you know just to fresh up things guys remember that i blended all my seasoning when i was preparing my goat meat for cooking and remember i'm making jamaican style curry goat so i'm gonna add just a little bit of water because it's been cooking for more than like 45 minutes or so going up because i tell you that goat meat is hard to cook if I was in a rush, of course I'd use my pressure cooker, but I'm not today, so I'm just chilling. You guys in the restaurants, they don't take all of this time to cook the curry goat. They throw it in pressure cooker, trust me, and then they do their thing. But of course, it always ends up tasting good. So if you want to go ahead and use your pressure cooker, go ahead and use your pressure cooker, guys. No shame in your game, as I say. So I just re-seasoned it, and I'm going to put a little bit more water on it, and I'm just going to allow it to cook so this is the final stage of my Jamaican curry goat cooking so now that my curry goat is almost finished I'm just gonna add one potato to it the potato gives the gravy a little body you know this is my way you know I like to put a potato in it some people don't but in case your gravy is too thin, you know, the potato gives it that body. So I'm just going to allow this to finish cook. And then my Jamaican curry goat will be all done. Okay, guys, so my rice and peas is all done. I'm going to take out the pepper. Remember I told you 
that after I cook my peas and I put my coconut and seasoning I like to let it sit after it's boiled I like to let it sit for a few minutes because I like that dark red color you get so this is what I'm talking about see that pretty dark red color so this is my finished rice and beans okay guys so my corridor is all done see how thick and nice the gravy is and the corridor color is mm, mm, mm. guys it is tasting so good guys thanks for watching my corridor tutorial how i seasoned it and now cooking until i'm done and how i made my rice and beans also thank you all so much for tuning in and please remember to like share subscribe and leave a comment if you wish to my youtube channel and of course bye for now oh my god guys the dinner is so good look at the rice look how shelly it is mm -mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at it. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Salad. I made this a little salad, you know. Good. I am. Yes, good. I'm a boy for nine months, you carry me through all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you bear, just down to you. Give you all my love again. Well, thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carry me through all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you're better just down to you.